Hey guys, the following video is brought to you by American Collectors Insurance. Stick around towards the end for some more information. My name is Daniel Wells. I work on Steve Gagline's Unlimited Car. This will be his 30th year on the mountain, my 28th year helping him. My dad started working on a car in 1981. I've been at Pikes Peak race day every day, every year since. We currently run a 2002 Camaro body. The chassis is from the Trans Am series that we've modified to suit Pikes Peak. Uh, it, it affects, because we're, we're still one of two running a carburetor. It, it, it drastically you know, affects us, but we've gotten the carburetor figured out and how to run and tune it for kind of the middle part of the mountain. It does because there's less air. Um, and so that's why you see cars with really, really big wings and big front splitters just trying to get as much downforce as you can with, with so little air. You know, drivers are running oxygen just to help keep them alert and aware as well. Here it's knowing the road. <laughs> knowing, I mean, you, you can have the best car, but if you don't know the road, you, you're gonna end up uh, probably at engineers. Engineers gets the best of them. My most memorable moment in this race was uh, 2000, our very first uh, podium finish, second place. It was a big deal to us. Uh, that one was an older car that we've retired. Uh, still have it. It's in our museum. You know, couldn't get rid of it. It's, it was family. We had that car for 25 years. It was a Camaro body as well, um, but looked more like the street Camaro than you know. This one's wider and everything. I. I can't even put it into words. I, I just remember some of the, I mean, getting choked up even thinking about it. Um, <laughs> um, it, it just, it, it was unreal. The, the amount of hours that we put into this car, um, it, it just, it was, it was unreal. You know, we, we've had some bad years where we've encountered uh, nights with no sleep, uh, trying to get the car back together. Um, it, it, so, I, I mean, moments like that make it all worthwhile. The 55, 56, and 57 Chevys. Um, I, I grew up, my parents had a 57. Um, so I, I grew up with those. The, the hours and other hobbies don't have me in a classic car yet, but the, the day I'm done wrenching on Steve's car, I'll, I'll end up having something. The race car takes too many hours. <laughs> Go to www.americancollectors.com to get your free quote today and see how much you can save. Thanks for watching.